There are four categories of financial freedom that every single person watching this video is eventually going to have to break through. Now, the four categories go like this. You have Jeffrey, who has no job, no skill. And this, according to a poll I ran on my Instagram, is about 27% of people that follow me. Then you have the average man, and the average man has one to $10,000 saved up. He might have an okay job, and this is 40% of people that follow me. Then the next level up is a Chad, and a Chad has 25 to $100,000 saved up, and he has an okay or pretty decent job, and this is 19% of people. And then finally, you have the alpha Chad, and this is the Chad that shepherds all of the other Chads, the leader of the Chad if you will, and he has $100,000 or more saved up, a business or a very high paying job. And then there's a bonus. There's Giga Chad or Chad of all Chads, and that is something I'm gonna go into at the end. I want you to get a general idea of where you fall into these brackets. And the reason I want you to do that is because I'm gonna go through each of these categories and tell you what exactly you are doing and what you should be doing in order to level up and get into the next category. And this is all in the name of breaking above the FF line or the financially free line, which is a consistent linear line that you have to break above in order to have time freedom, location freedom, and financial freedom. And once you're above this line, you're basically free to enjoy the human experience experience and live your life however you want to do it. Anyway, let's start with Jeffrey. Okay, so Jeffrey is very, very, very early on on his journey, and he's done pretty much nothing. He's pretty much useless to himself and the world. He provides no value. This is the type of guy that's probably living with his parents or with somebody else, not paying rent, not having any skill, not making any money, just playing video games or wasting a bunch of time. But these people are just very beginning on and we love all the humans. So we need to give them a way to get out. And so at this level, all you really need to do is get a job or get a skill and you need to start trading in that time and that skill for some basic money so that you can start saving up a little bit of money. Now there's plenty of ways you can do this but at this level it's basically a free-for-all hustle. If you want to sell muffins like I did when I was in high school you can do that. If you want to go on an offer up and just look at anything that looks ugly buy it and then make it look pretty and resell it for more you can do that. You just have to get up on your feet and start doing something. Some useful skills you can learn here if you have a computer and an internet connection is video editing or video design. You could also learn sales which is incredibly useful and something that most people can do. And since you have little to no money, all of these options are going to pay you. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. You're just going to have to get up on your feet and do something. Your goal is to essentially stop being useless and save between one and $10,000, preferably on the higher end of that as fast as you can. So you need to get through this stage as fast as you possibly can. If you want to become a Chad, you have a long way to go. Now, say you're a Jeffrey and you watch this video, you get up off your feet, you go and start flipping things, you save up two, three, four thousand $4,000, whatever the case is, and you level up into the average man. Now it is your job to take the current decent level of income that you have and your current savings and go and create new opportunities for yourself. And as most of you guys know, I would highly advocate for an online business. That's the entire premise of my YouTube channel. So if you have money saved up, I would highly suggest starting a business. And for simplicity's sake, I have three businesses that I think are the easiest and the most common to start. And they go like this, dropshipping, freelancing, agency. Dropshipping is making a comeback now because of TikTok. You can run ads on TikTok and it's a lot easier than it is with Facebook. And you can also just create free TikTok content or organic content that goes viral and it's free ads, which cuts out one third of the cost of running a dropshipping store, making it way more profitable than ever before. So dropshipping in general as a business model is coming back and it's doing really well. And then you have freelance. Basically you have a skill, let's say it's video editing, and then you go on Fiverr or Upwork or any website and you sell that skill in exchange for money. Now there's a couple of ways you could freelance, you could either freelance for a lot of people and make money that way, or you could freelance a very specific type of style and charge more and then go find customers that are willing to pay you for that specific style. I would prefer doing the second because I would rather work with less people and charge them more. But if you want to do that, you kind of have to niche down in whatever skill that you're trying to do. And then finally, you have create an agency. So if there is a service or a skill that you have, you can create an agency around it, which is essentially I'm going to do this for this business or this person, and I'm going to do it at a large scale. I think it would make more sense to either start with dropshipping or freelancing so that if you are dropshipping, that could be one thing in and of itself. But if you are freelancing and you get really good at a skill, you can create an operation around that skill or you can train that skill to like your family member or just hire someone and then create an agency around that skill. But freelance would be a more logical step to take before making an agency. Dropshipping is going to be a lot more complicated in the beginning. It's going to be a lot less consistent and probably less profitable. And it's going to take some more time to figure out. It's not as straightforward as simply having a service 
service and selling that service to someone. However, the pros of dropshipping go like this. Once you do figure it out, all you really have to do is turn up the dials on ad spend or content you're publishing on TikTok, and that's going to turn up your income as well. So you can scale it very aggressively and make a lot of money very, very quickly. Now with agency, it's not like that. In the beginning, you can get one or two clients and that'll be very consistent income month over month, but you can't just turn up the dials on the agency like that. If you wanna scale an agency, you're gonna have to outsource a lot of things. You're gonna have to build an operation. It's gonna take a long time. And it's not as simple as increasing the budget on your campaigns or making three extra videos per day for TikTok. So either route is great, but I would suggest doing dropshipping. And I also have a free course on dropshipping that you can get down below. So anyway, moving on, at the average man level, you are trading your time and your skills in tandem for money, but there is a lot more upside when trading your skills for money. You are a lot further than Jeffrey, but you still have a long way to go before you become a Chad. Your job right here is not really to break above the FF line, but you also have no business being in this category and you need to continue working hard. Now let's say you upgrade to a Chad. It's your job at this stage to start getting into more serious stuff and new options and new opportunities are open to you here. You can franchise a business that you really like. You can start an agency at a high level. For example, if you see an opportunity in a space and you don't have any experience, you can just hit the ground running, hire a bunch of professionals, hire someone to manage everything. You can get into low level real estate development or you can flip a house at this stage, either one of those. You can also get into Airbnb arbitrage or you can buy small properties and Airbnb them out. You could start lending your money here if that's an option you wanna take as well. You can also invest a good amount of money into crypto here because at this level, you're not gonna invest your entire life savings and you know when crypto hits the next bull run, you are gonna make life-changing money off of it. The idea here is getting in the habit of making your money work for you. So you are not working for money anymore, but you are deploying your little money soldiers away and they are coming back with more money. This is the level where if you're on the right track, your money will start to exponentially grow like this. Now, if you have a high paying job, I'd recommend doing any of the things that I just mentioned. But if you have a business, I would recommend trying to outsource and automate as much of the business as possible so that you can step outside of your business and focus on really growing it. And I've done this twice in my life. I used to edit my own videos, make my own thumbnails. I used to come up with all the ideas. I used to do everything for YouTube. And once again, as I stepped out of YouTube and all I did was film the videos and come up with the ideas and everything else completely outsourced, YouTube has grown exponentially. At this stage, you are trading less of your time and less of your skills, but more of your money for money. So I'm paying more people now, I'm investing more now, but I'm, I'm using my money and that money is making me more money in the back end. You are definitely comfortable here. And I would say in some cases you are above the FF line, depending on how old you are and how many obligations you have. Obligations meaning kids or wives or whatever, but it's no time to be comfortable because you need to comfortably be above the FF line. You definitely have momentum, so do not slow down. Let's say you keep working hard and you reach alpha Chad. So now you are the Chad of all the Chads, the Chad Shepherd. So this level is actually fairly simple and it's because you're going to be doing everything that a Chad is doing, but on a much, much bigger scale. Instead of flipping a house for 300K, you're flipping a house for a million dollars. And the thing you need to understand is money is relative. So the more money you have to play with, the more you're going to make. And the lifestyle does not really change because a bowl of Chipotle still costs the same amount of money. So as you start to exponentially grow your money, as long as your lifestyle doesn't get crazy and your lifestyle doesn't outgrow how fast you're growing your money, it's going to just be explosive growth. Really the key piece of advice for people in this category is don't spend too much money. You have serious momentum, so don't just go out and spend all of your money and don't go waste it. You need to keep your income way, way, way above your lifestyle. And as long as you do this and give your income and capital room to breathe and room to grow, it will do just that. So don't complicate things, don't buy bonds, don't invest into the IRA, just do the basic stuff at a higher level. At this level, you're trading very, very small amounts of time for money and mostly money for money. You are likely in the top one to 5% of people here. So at this point, my advice starts to mean less and less because if you've gotten here by yourself, then you're obviously an incredibly competent and intelligent individual. And I applaud you and I respect you. But you need to keep moving forward because there is one stage above you and that stage is Giga Chad or the Chad of all Chads. If you are at this stage, there's only one new thing that you need to focus on outside of the things that the Alpha Chads are doing. So at this level, it is time to meet and find really smart people and to give these people money and to send them off so that they can make you more money. At this level, basically everybody else is making you richer and richer every single day and you're just deploying them like soldiers. But also when you increase your network and you have really smart people or people that are also extremely competent themselves, you guys can collaborate and do business deals and make millions of dollars together. And I've seen this happen to myself and to other people that reach this level. At the Giga Chad level, you probably don't tell people how much money you make anymore. You 
most likely graduated from telling people exactly what you do all the time. And people can kind of just sense that you have like this energy or this vibe to you that you actually know what you're talking about and making friends at a high level will be much easier. At this level, you're going to be trading your charm. You're going to be trading your networking ability, your experience, and all of the money that you have saved up over a million dollars for more money. And you are going to make uneasy amounts of money. You're going to make ridiculous, disgusting sums of money. And again, it's just going to continue compounding. Hats off to you and everybody watching the video that is not at that level. This is the level that we should aspire to be getting to. So it sounds too simple, right? Well, the answer and the honest truth is that it is very simple and people will always overcomplicate things to give them a reason to fail. But the answer is true. It's very simple. And anybody that has made it through these stages would agree that for the most part, this is pretty much how it goes. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that there isn't other ways you could do it because there's plenty of ways to skin a cat and there's plenty of ways to get to the summit of a mountain. You know, not every single person has to get there on the exact same path. But for the most part, this is a foolproof way to get through the stages and exactly how each stage looks like. In the end, it's really simple, just like building muscle or losing fat. You need to be consistent. You need to show up every day and, and don't cheat you know just show up every day and be consistent that's all that there really is to it if you're curious about exactly how i went from jeffrey to giga chad major chad of all chads from the ages of 16 to 23 you can watch this video right here where i talk about how i went from 1000 to 8 million dollars